All right, let's go. So this is day two, Emma Watson. So every so once again, the max level is twenty five, um, and there's only this one little area, and they're supposed to be summoning a boss, like a world boss. I missed the first one. It was like ten or so hours ago. The next one is supposed to be in uh, two and a half hours. So we'll see if we still want to be playing at that point. <clears throat> so let's just you know have some fun to mess around. Okay, so I don't remember what the heck we were doing, but as long as we just, you know, run around and see what's going on. I'll probably just do all my side quests, regular quests, and just run around and find some more dungeons, you know? These, I like how these quests can't be done, but they show you here. <laughs> so I, I really wonder how much of this you can actually explore. Look at that, this is a level 37 area undiscovered. So you probably can't even go in here. Etc. Alright, where was I? Might as well uh, empty out my inventory before we continue. <laughs> Uh, yes, we'll go ahead and salvage. This guy's level 25. Just all items, whatever. Let's go salvage. Okay, so where do I want to go? Tarnished Luster, level 10. What level am I? I am level 10, so I should probably just head on over that way. Unless I have another quest going on here. Oh, I can claim a reward. Um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> claim something. Fractured stuff. Waypoints discovered claimed by each character waypoint stronghold side quests. So the more you do the more like items you get look at that I got a, a permanent skill point, huh? So it's worth even doing a lot of these isn't it? Okay So I don't know why this one is that does not get like, you know destroyed. It's weird I'm gonna go and try that again. I maybe I have to manually press that one All equipment all What the heck? Yeah Cannot salvage. I don't know why. Whatever. I'll just sell it then. Sell. Okay. So let's go. Ooh, that's actually a new armor. Eh, it's not that much. What about weapon? Ooh, Rune Dominion. 11k. I have 10k actually. This is way more damage, etc. Rudimentary wand. All right, let's go. On the road. Let's just run around. Yoink. Oh yeah, I have a new uh, ability. Okay, so. Uh, we just unlocked the defensive ability. So if we upgrade this one, the dodge rate will go up. After teleporting, damage reduction. After teleporting, crackling energy hits two more opponents. That's pretty good. But I might as well just figure out, like, like upgrade this one, which is, like, my most powerful one here. Boom. This is the one I'm like, this is, that's why they call it a core skill. All right, let's go. So we're just going to go out of town and go down this way. Let's see what's uh, in this area. How do I get out of town? Is there even a way to get out this way? Ah, here we go. There's a pathway right over here. Oh, we have to wait three more months for this game to come out. Like, I want to do everything, but it's like, it doesn't, it, like, it doesn't matter because the character's going to get wiped, etc. But it's still nice to just have fun experiment. See what the game has to offer. Check his audio levels. Okay, that's good to me. This is my ultimate attack. All right, here we go. Uh, nice. Give me some items already. Okay, here's the map. Ooh, dungeon? Dungeon, lights watch. Aspect of conflagration. While channeling incinerate, your burning damage is increased by 20%. Oh, so that's specifically for sorcerer. Nice. I'm sure there's going to be like tons of Wikipedia pages and guides. Ooh, all the aspects for rogues. You should go over here and find out. Yeah, people, you know, people will be doing that. But at the same time, you know, if you're playing long term, why not just go have fun and look at it yourself? You know, look, find everything, explore. And go from there, because, you know, you only get to play the game one time. Why would you spoil everything? Unless you have a new account or something, you're like, oh, I just want to make a good build, etc. But I hope the aspects are unlocked forever. We'll see. What's this? There's like a, hold on, there's like an event here. Let's go to the, let's go to do this first. Radiance Fields of Bold Wires. I buy am level 10. So, this guy should be, yeah, we, okay. Yeah, we, we still do a lot of damage. This is good. God, look at my lightning damage. Love it. Love this shit. Wait, a short sword? I don't wear that in my, in my character, right? Was there a way today? Hell, no. Right away. It's interesting. I don't know why. 
maybe a lot of people actually did stop playing it or uh, they just increased the amount of servers made it better I have no idea but no weights actually the weight was like negative like less than a minute both yeah, a little bit of both so you read the rules of that game damn I thought I started with some exo stuff I, I guess I was wrong I looked at the icons and I start with uh, like like power cores or whatever and that's not the exo things I thought I'm like oh I guess I'll wait I guess not wait wait Z <laughs> thundering bone captain this game is really good though like I think for sure when it's out I'm gonna play it there's so many characters there's so many things to unlock and it has that like open world feel even though it's Diablo it has that sort of semi MMO world ish format where you're just going around gigantic maps and completing anything around there and then the the amount of loot that you get the, the different builds you can have it's kind of fun lots of easy respec it's cool I like it I'll probably play next week too because it's open beta I guess you can try that one as well so anyone can play you don't have to freaking pre-order or freaking eat uh or you don't have to pre-order you don't have to eat KFC there's a boss no. look at the map there is like a boss like a and there's like a, a world boss they're gonna be spawning in a couple hours but I don't know if I'll still be playing by then that's a cool ability shock lance Shakulensu. Not enough manners. Event complete. Call the wicked. That's an event? Mm. Yes. Yeah, I, I noticed at the at the end I was like, oh yeah, I, I could I could have got that. I got water. I'm like I was thinking about what to build and stuff, but I guess I can't build this. It's okay, just keep keep going. Uh cold faith. Ah, I mean we could restart. I don't know. Up to you guys. Yeah, yeah, finish the finish the round. Look, there's someone here. Oh, that's a Bone Warrior Archer. I thought that was another player. Sweet. Zip, zip, zap. Lightning so P. Yeah. Uh, I I really can't believe like you absolutely like you you have people. You have one of everyone accessing at the beginning, like one engineer, one, one, one. But then I guess you just need exosuits. I can't believe you don't start with one. So you have to, you have to change out two waters for it, huh? Something like that. God dang it. This is one of those games where I feel, I looked at the board. It's like you really, really need to be aware of who's going next in order because what the fuck is this? Another player? Is that another player in PC? Because everyone can do the same actions, but you gotta pay. You gotta pay for your second, third, etc. It's a lot of extra shit. Is that just a random? I think that's just a random NPC. Quest? Pilgrim's Journal. Speak with Priest Metav in Margrave. This is it? That's the one. Okay, we'll go there. I wanna go to the dungeon. Pick up these lightning aspects. Zzz. I need time to prepare. I haven't even unlocked the horse yet. I think I need to be a specific level before they give me the quest. I need exosuits. God dang it, I messed it up. Any exosuit you don't take, you get one. Oh, I got a lot of water. I wonder if that's even a strat. Like, you should, you should find out. It's locked. What the fuck? A whispering key. You should find out if there's any strat that's like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna skip the first. <laughs> Probably, like, not the best. Because it's engine building. It's engine building. Uh, congratulations. You have reached level 11. I have. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll unlock my, uh, another ability later. Sweet. Okay, so let's just get this to five. Boom! So this is the highest it's gonna get. Now I can unlock more stuff on the next level. Pretty cool. Slain Monka. No. 
bucks. Uh, okay, here we go. Zip zap. So they did dungeons in this game pretty interesting because once you complete a dungeon, you can keep doing it for like experience and loot. But on the first time you do it, you unlock a permanent sort of uh, upgrade. A permanent upgrade for a specific skill for like different classes. I don't know about literally farming. <laughs> like this, this dungeon here, no matter if you're a warrior or whatever, you unlock uh, an upgrade for your lightning skill. Oh no, for a fire skill. It, it, the tree looks fancy, but it, it's pretty much like ba basic Diablo. This is your basic skills, you get one of four. Basic core skills, one of these. And then it gets put into like one of these. So it, it looks fancy, but it's just, like if you look at Diablo three, it's just a, a, it's just a tree that, that goes in like horizontal. This one they made it look more fancy, but once you like look at it, you're like, oh okay, it's just a weird looking UI. But it's it's nice. If they can make things look better. Why not? Skill. Simple dagger. Look at that. <laughs> I have auto attack. I've been picking up stuff, but let's see. Oh! Okay, so what is the difference? Account bound. Properties when lost. I lose pointing, uh, lightning, legendary. I lose a legendary power? Oh, I have flame shield. When hit while not healthy, a magic bubble is summoned around you for four seconds. Standing in the bubble, you are immune. Can only occur once every 90 seconds. So this is like a... God, the freaking abilities you get here, that's really weird. So, the star, it's a uh, its a special ability. That is very cool. It's gonna be plus thorns, some stats, willpower, lightning resist. That's, that's actually pretty sick. What a cool ability. Hmm. Oh, that's a lot of extra armor, Jesus. Okay, mm, garbage. Simple dagger. So yeah, I picked up a sword. So it looks like you always get more items from from you, but you have a chance to drop items from your other classes. I think that's a good idea. Good drop rate. Like, uh, 95% your items, 5% another class. So if you find something really cool, you're like, oh, okay, maybe I will make another class. What is this? It's locked. Need to find key. Oh, it's playing with around fire. That thing sucks. It's bad as a starting one, but if you could spec around it, it's not terrible. But I think lightning is like the, the best starting DPS. Like, you don't need to have any special skills. Treads. Treads. It's cool, man. Oh, there's the bubble. It occurs. Ooh, look at that. So every a minute and a half, it can activate. I think that's good if I'm using like a uh, uh, items, not items, but like. Ooh, what the fuck? Shut up. Using skills that make me stand still, like the uh, the fire. I, I might actually change back to the fire right after this because we're gonna unlock the fire ability or the, the charge fire. <laughs> So we'll just stick with the sorcerer for this, and next week we'll do a uh, necromancer. Oh crap! Well, actually, we'll do a melee character. Yeah, we'll do the druid. Trap chest. What am I supposed to do with this? We gotta go out or what? Ice fight. I don't know if it's gonna go out. Oh, cursed chest. There you go. Survive uh, 35 seconds left. Druid. Yeah, Druid should be good. I don't, I don't know what kind of skills they got, but I'm assuming uh, some really good melee transformations. Like, that's what it, that's what the other one is, right? In, like, Diablo 2, etc. You have uh, transformation specializations. Like, I'll be a bear, I'll be a wolf. Or you stay a human or something. I don't know. What is happening? The game looks sick, too. It's really good with controller. I like controller. I like playing with it. 
Oh look, invulnerability. Pretty good. I'm not ready yet. Oh shit, man. What the fuck? Ah, cool. Ah. There we go. Fog. Cursed chest. That's a lot of shit. So we already did two events in this dungeon, which should be randomized. We fought like a special enemy, and then we found a cursed chest. So that's gonna change up. Uh, it's, it's not bad. It'll make it different every time you go to one of these dungeons. What the is that? This is such an auto win skill. Just freaking shoot in a direction and it bounces at everyone. It's OP. Pellet bow. See, there's another item I can't use. Zip that little map. So yeah, for like wave clearing, lightning is pretty good. For long term bosses and stuff, and tankier enemies, fire and ice seem to be a little better. You can slow them down or just do more DPS, etc. Let's see the new item that I got. Crap. Crap. Uh, more armor. But what do I lose? Mana cost reduction 5 intel. No. Wow, dagger. Okay, so this is good. It's really good. Core skill 5%. Oh, damn, that's a good item. Rare. 10 intel. I lose core percent damage. Uh, it's actually better, huh? Damage to distance. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, there's a new ring. So I don't, it's another easy ring. Okay, that's a good armor. That's uh, more armors. I lose a little bit of stuff, but I'll... Nah, I'll take the armor. Yeah. Pants. Okay. Looks good. Staff. Did I pick up the thing? It's locked. Lights watch. Slay the watchman. Some kind of quest. Yeah. Oh my lord. Fiendish folio. Say a conduit. Shrine. Search through enemies. <laughs> okay, look. It activates automatically. Oh, it's an ability. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my special. Sick. Did I pick up the key? I think we picked up the key. Nice. A dead guy. One dead guy. Okay. Gold, uh, full life. Crown. Artillery. Oh, we already killed everyone here. Artillery shrine ain't gonna help anymore. There's a nice shrine. Okay, cool. Let's see, what else I got? Uh, focus. It's a focus. So the thing is, though, it's hard to tell if the focus is good because I'm not using the weapon anymore that goes along with it. Hmm. So I have to put both on, and then I have to put the staff on and see if it's better. So we gain, if I do this, a little bit more stuff. Mana kill, blah, blah, blah. So it's still better to wear this. Oh shit! Oh, 
bone pile. Was that summoning things? I don't think so. Oh, what the hell? Challenge elemental artist. And the game really incentivizes you to do everything too, because how else are we supposed to do all these challenges? Like if I'm playing with the, with the barbarian, I have to use all the, the weapon types to get all the achievements. So you can specialize. But if you care about getting more stuff, you're gonna have to, you have to do more. All right, new ability. Oh, damn. Okay. This is Hydra. Summon it. Fuck off. Okay, Hydra. Summon a three head. Uh, summon. Uh, this ain't it. This way. Summon a Hydra for 12 seconds that spits enemies one at a time. Nice. Uh, conjure a pair of ice blades. Is it just a summon? Conjuration skills. Yeah. Chance to have a man vulnerable or lightning. Conjure spear of lightning that seeks out. Cooldown 20 seconds. Okay, well, that's sick. Uh, RB. I need time to prepare them. How long does it last? What the hell? That's sick. Hmm. Six seconds. Okay, after critically striking, it gains more crit still. Just, okay, just more crit. As it crits, it increases crit. Um, and if it crits, it, stun it stuns. Oh my god, this is really good. Or, collecting crackling increases the damage of next up to 100. Oh, that's really good too. You deal 1% increased damage for each act of conjuration. Conjuration mastery for each active. So what's it saying? Like, do all of these three and just do more damage in general? You gain five damage reduction against elites for each second you haven't taken damage. Oh, interesting. Every time you spend 100 mana, you gain damage reduction. Using a cooldown, using a cooldown grants 10% of your max life is buried for five seconds. And then after that, we get, um, doesn't even say what kind of skills these are. But there's like three more types to get. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. 20 second cooldown. So after this dungeon, I'll respect into a fire. I'll try that out for a bit. It's hard to even like see my lightning thing. Look, it, should, it, just, it really just looks like another bolt. I think it needs another kind of graphic or something. Look at this. Fully equipped. Compare, compare the slots. Ring a. Okay, cool. It says damage to distant enemies a lot, but I don't know what the criteria is for distance. I'm sure there's a specific like, like meters or something. Oh shit. Is he okay? Are you okay? Oh shit. Let's go. He died. I think he's dead now. Battle staff, legendary. Inventory's full, I'm gonna have to back up now. One more encounter. There's no items. I need time to prepare that. Mean boss? If so, I guess we'll just go. Probably went the wrong way. Poison enchanted. I need time to Empty. 
Okay. Armor plus one. Uh, okay. Might as well. Armor plus one. Rare staff. Two-handed, isn't it? Okay. Damage to cr crowd control. So I wonder if we, if you like, you can freeze them. You can chill them and freeze. I don't know if chill counts as being in damage control. Damage to slow. Damage to close. That's pretty sick. This is good. Yeah, whatever. All right, boss time. Lights war room. Oh, jumped on you. Dead mother too. I'm not ready yet. I'm invincible in here with we'll chillax. Heal. Heal. I need time. Oh shit. Where'd he go? I'll just grab this while waiting. Weird. My lightning. I need time. Is that normal for them to be dropping all these potions on me? What the hell happened? I gotta be careful. Actually getting rough. I'm not ready yet. Sweet. Covered slippers. Alright, let's get rid of this. Legendary booties. Oh my god, so good. 120. Sweet. So, that's it. You have to just teleport out this way. I can continue going, but it's okay. Lights, war room. Oh, sweet. Uh, let's see going on here oh this is the journal of the area cool hold to reset dungeons reset dungeons you can do that just automatically healing potion upgrade priority quest uh, okay we'll do those uh, let's see one second Let's go. Where am I going? Uh, Kyobashad. Healing potion upgrade and stuff. I don't know if, if there's going to be runs where I just need to sell things as opposed to, like, scrap things. Because I want to scrap things for the look. And I think you... Well, I don't know. As long as you just have a lot of resources, then you can just start selling things, right? Because there's going to be a point where you just don't need resources anymore, I think. So just all. You all. can take what's left. Huh. All junker. Junker. Uh. Equipped all items. Is this bound to me? Account bound. Account bound. Cannot salvage one. So these are like super boots. Or whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just a beta. Getting rid of them. Or am I? Um, buy, sell. 13k. Let's start upgrading. Just a little bit more. So we go to here, here. Item. And the best thing to do is always your weapon, right? Who cares about armor for now? 9k? Damn. Damn. Okay, I really need to... Okay. I'm going to sell things for the next... This is plus six more. Plus six more. Damage control. Distant enemies. Oh, it's not even Come worth it. That's so much. 
Wait, can you upgrade your rings? No, right? No, just your basic stuff. Like this one's nice. 3k to upgrade. Nice armor. You get thorns, lightning resist. It doesn't upgrade my special though, huh? Whatever. That there is worth the coin. It's worth the coin. Alright, let me get a uh, the potion upgrades. There's a healing potion upgrade and extraction imprinting. I don't know what that is. I cannot do that here. I want to increase the potency of my healing. Well, you certainly have the look of someone who spends I have some extra material. I'll not need it. Okay, uh, potency upgrade the alchemy. I mean, we looked at this before they gave us the quest. Healing potion charges can be increased by earning renown. Oh, wow, look at that. You can have 10 plus, etc. So we have the weak one here 17 and then 35 after. 48 and then 35 after for three seconds. Easy gallo vine. I need level 20 for this one. Elixirs. Uh, dodge and experience. Armor, etc. Refined resources, etc. Sweet. Yeah, we have the boots now that when we dodge, it makes us run faster. Evade movement speed forty percent briefly. I cannot do that here. Okay, here we go. Tell me of extraction and imprinting. As I'm sure you know. Even seemingly mundane objects. The process will you might think of it as Okay. So here it is. Item codex aspect item preview. Nice, this is cool. Okay, so we have extract. Okay, so let's see. Extract what did it say? Salvaging will turn them into sigil power for new sigils. Enchanting. You can replace certain affixes on your items. Now ah, this is there's so much here. Okay, so imprint. So, for example, uh, let's see this. Codex of Power. So, these are all the different Codex of Power you get. Oh, it even shows you a dungeon. Progress the campaign to get this one. Wall shape-shifting. These are, are, are these classes? Yeah, they're all classes. Ballistic. Relentless Berserkers. Show my class only. Didn't I unlock one of these? Codex of power. I guess I need to get a weapon. Codex of weapon. Codex of power. Here we go. Show my class only. There we go. Got this one. So wall channeling incinerate burning damage increase. It's pretty good. So you select it. Aspect. Or an aspect from inventory. Whoa. So there's codex of power and then there's different aspects. Whoa. So this is, okay, nice. So imprinting. So wall chanting incinerate. Oh, we need five veiled crystals, rare crafting, and 11K. Imprint aspect. Oh, okay, hold on. Extract. A legendary to be destroyed. Ooh, I shouldn't have sold those other ones then. Too bad you can't get rid of this one. All right, nice. Okay, so we keep, so you're supposed to keep every legendary to do this. Sacred? Nightmare Sigil, transform a dungeon into a Nightmare Dungeon. So it requires World Tier 3, which means we can't do it in the beta, right? Whoa, holy crap. That's cool. Ancestral. So Sacred is first, and then it goes Ancestral Tiers after. Look at that. Oh shit, that's this is like late game stuff. Salvage sigils. Salvage enchants an item. Add an item to the slot and select an affix to replace it. Select an affix to slot. So for example, this. Add an item and select an affix to replace. Oh, I see. So if I don't like the poison resist, is it just random? If you need to feed roses, hard to are very hard to find. Okay, so this this NPC here is nuts. 
Okay, so this is like super, super late game stuff. We could be re-rolling like your legendaries, fixing it up. It's nice. I like it. Okay, rings and amulets. Frost ring. Mm, it's basic shit. <gasps> okay, this is cool. Oh no, it's gonna lag again. Or am I lagging? I need time to prepare that. Uh, uh, we're good. It's just the game. Okay, now where? Okay, let's go back to here. There's another dungeon. Slack, slacking aspect. Oh, gotta reroll. Reroll. Refund all. Oh. Refund uh, 72 bucks. Wait, wait. Okay, so fire it is. Fire. Skill has been assigned to the action bar. So basic fire bolt. Damage and burning. Enhance. Pierces through. And if I get one of these, crit strikes increases burning damage. Fire bolt generates two mana when hitting a burning enemy. That's pretty good. Okay, and we're gonna get one of these only, which is incinerate, because incinerate is what our, well, we don't have the aspect on, but we're probably gonna just use this. Okay, two more. Uh, while channeling, you burn enemies around you. One more. Enemies deal less damage burning. So this is like a you, you stay still and you kind of tank it, huh? For four seconds, an enemy has been sit uh, incinerated. They are mobilized. Take the damages and it's fine. Okay, let's see what this one is. Engulf yourself in flames surrounding enemies. Okay, we got four more. Uh, flame shield, movement speed. Ooh. Flame shield heals you for your missing life. 50% of your missing life. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you gain 25 mana cost reduction. Oh, that's really good. If you put that on incinerate, it's amazing, huh? Uh, we'll use the heal. We'll, we'll play the like. We'll tank it up. Maybe we just level it all in incinerate. Incinerate and flame shield. I have three left. So incinerate. So the modifier, if I upgrade, next rank, boink, and then here. Well, what's this one? Critical strikes, 5% chance to reset the cooldown of any defensive skill. Glass can, nope. So we'll increase this. So this increases the duration. Next rank duration, burning damage up. While flame, you are immune for two seconds. That's so good. Now we get our flame ultimate, our flame hydra. Let's try this one out. Okay, let's get out of here. Can you teleport to these? No, you gotta walk. Ah, crap, I should have just portaled instead of teleporting home. I gotta walk back. All right, let's go. Unless there's any like pressing sort of, hold on, pressing things. Campaign cannot be quite, uh, let's see. Carnish Luster, side quest, Cold Faith. Level one plus. Connect? I, I I don't know. If it doesn't, eh. I'm good if it doesn't. Whatever. I'm, I'm going to start over anyway, but I, I don't know. I'm assuming no. I don't see why they would, you know, do that. What's this? Interact with these nuts. Not while I'm in town. Did you hit 25 already, Antonio? Oh, damn. Laga. Laga. Fireball. 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 Incinerate. It takes a little while to charge it. Flame shield. Omega Hydra. Omega Hydra. There's no cooldown on this? There's no cooldown on my Hydra? Oh no, yeah, there's no cooldown, but it just goes away, huh? 12 seconds. But there's no cooldown after use it. Wow. Oh, that's all sick. Cool, go Hydra. This is pretty nice. I likes, I likes. Let's go to the next dungeon. 12 seconds too. Burning. Mega shield. Okay, my DPS is obviously the Hydra right now. Hmm. 
started a new anarchy. All right, let me let me let me get it. Anarchy, board, board game arena. Let's do it. I mean, we're all right here. Well, okay. I messed up. I messed up in that game. I didn't. I didn't know. Through the eggs. Let me get to the dungeon, then I'll do my board game turns. Stupid things. Burning. This thing kind of blows, but it is nice AoE. So this is like, the way that you could play this class is more of a standstill DPS. Become super tanky. Regen mana, Hydra it. And if they get too too crazy, flame shield. Cause I don't think the Hydra can take damage. Wait, is it? Can, like can I do this oh you can do this and activate the shield at the same time nice oh that's kind of cool look how like crap the damage is Ew. the hydra summoning is amazing though like you can go straight summon build like I can just put everything into there hydra build and just tank around it I don't need to play Necromancer when I burn everything. That's sick. Hydra Chan. Shield. Shield. I'm out of mana. Hmm. Oh. There's a dungeon. What is that? That's a new icon to the left. Oh, is that the town? It's the town Margrave. All these quests. Let's accept them all. Do it.